Hello, in this video we are going to be talking about how to add additional work info types to change management. This is how you can add additional work info types to change management. You're going to need to do this on five forms total. One is going to be the change work log form. The other is the change infrastructure change, change change dialogues, change change interface, and change load work log. In your change work log, where you're going to add the field is going to be here for general information. Uh, make sure that you select overwrite option on each one of these that we change. The database ID for that is 170 if you need to find it by database ID. And you can see here we've added underneath uh, build, we've added communication plan with the field ID, with the ID of 12001. If you wanted to do 12500, you could do that, that's fine. Uh, and then you will save and then for the change infrastructure change that is going to be under your uh, Z1D work log type database ID 304247210 and that value we see we've ad actually added here as well if when you add the values and say for instance the alias doesn't allow you to change Go ahead and move it up to where it needs to be underneath the business design or whatever field you're wanting to add. Save it and then reopen these properties and this field will become editable um, if you run into that issue, which uh, hopefully you don't. Okay, and then you'll save this form as well. Remember to always do overwrite option on this field. For change, change dialogues, it is work info type here. You wanna do the same thing, overlay, add the same values that you're adding from the previous uh, forms. Uh, save, and then you're gonna do the same for change interface, which is Z1D work info type. Database ID here is this is 304287530. You wanna set the overlay to overwrite, and then again, put it in the same position as the other menus and save. And your last one is change load uh, work log, and that's gonna be work info type overwrite and then you're going to add the same values. Once you've done that you're going to go into um, and saved your form. You want to go flush your um, mid-tier cache so uh, to get to your mid-tier cache uh, you just log into the environment and you can go directly to this link ARSS shared slash config slash config JSP uh, log into the system I'm not going to flush my cache now because it's going to cause some delay for the video and I just don't want it, want it to have any delay where you're sitting stationary. But you'll go to cache settings and click flush cache. Once you've done that, you need to go to your browser cache for safe measures and we'll say Chrome for example. Um, you'll just go to uh, Chrome and then you go settings. And then underneath you would have uh, an advanced option and you want to go to privacy and security. Down here, there's a clear browsing data. Click that and just check cookies, other site data, and cast images of files, and then say OK. Then, when you go to your change, current change request, or previous, your menu item will then show up underneath uh, uh, your change request. And that's it. Thank you for your time.